All right, guys, Brian Candy again with Sustainable Terrains. Um, looking at some Hanna products, and one that I got, um, it's from more of their aquarium stuff. It's the Hanna Alkalinity Checker. Um, it's for checking source water alkalinity. And why this is really important with hydroponics is if you have like a municipal watering source, um, say Boulder County, County Colorado has um, multiple reservoirs that they'll transition to throughout the year. And um, depending on which reservoir they're pulling from really affects the quality of water. The water quality coming in to your hydroponic setup unless you're running RO is extremely important. And what this shows is the alkalinity, which is not pH, it is not EC, but it basically shows how much acid it's gonna to take to buffer your water and how hard it's gonna to be to move. So it's very in line with water hardness. So that was a little messy, but it comes with two vials. You fill one. And a little too much in there. So basically you put 10 milliliters of water in here. All right, so this little checker, like I said, is more for the aquarium market, but it's really important for hydroponics, especially for anybody who's running organics or no-till. Um, it's really nice to know the alkalinity of the water going into your system, because if you don't have any alkalinity, it's going to strip nutrients and calcium and uh, carbonate out of the water that you're trying to feed your plants with. And if it's too hard, it's going to be really hard to buffer the pH and you're going to need to do some additional filtration. It's also good for checking to see if your RO filters are blown out. So, and it's just fun. It's got this little science kit kind of vibe. So you fill your vial with 10 milliliters of your sample. And this is water from an RO filter that's on its way out. So C1 means put sample one in there and let it do its thing. Okay, now it says C2, bring it out and you can do your sample in a separate bottle, but I would recommend using the same bottle. Keep your fingerprints off of the bottle as best you can. And you're gonna get one milliliter of this reagent with this little nozzle on the end here. And the syringe is metered, so you're gonna pull it all the way up to the top here and fill this little reagent guy. Okay, so we got one milliliter of reagent. We're gonna add it to our sample. See it start to change color. So this is a handheld colorimeter. It's going to tell you the alkalinity based on the color of the sample. So now you want to carefully Make sure that the reagent is mixed in with the water, but you don't want to shake it up to the point where you get any bubbles. And if you do it like I told you and not put your fingerprints on it, like I just did, make sure you wipe it down. And then you put it in the sample, put the sample into the meter, and you want to kind of keep the same orientation just in case there's any variation in the glass change the color. Also if you have chlorine in the water um, you will want to remove the chlorine first through a carbon filter or else it can affect your reading. So 374 this is well water actually this is uh, my house well water not the RO water. So I tested my RO filter earlier and it came out at 124. This is the house water from a well that's unfiltered and untreated. This is very hard water. So what this means is, um, this water, if you're going to use it for hydroponics, should probably be filtered before using, and you know that it's going to be very hard to modify the pH with a lot of pH down uh, to get this um, adjusted to where you need it for healthy plant growth. But kind of a cool tool, it's an alternative use, like I said, if you're 
Uh, below 50, that would be considered low, where you would be wanting to charge the alkalinity um, before adding your nutrients. Again, especially in an organic or no-till kind of setup, you want to make sure that you've got that base water alkalinity up to a certain level. Uh, between 100 and 300 is going to be optimal range, and then above 300, it's just going to be, this is really hard water. This is Colorado well water. Um, it's going to be harder to manipulate the pH and you're also looking at a pretty, um, just a, a stiff baseline. But if you were again in a, in a place that was using municipal water and if you saw a change within two weeks go from 125 to 375, you would know that your source water has changed and that you're really going to be wanting to make sure you're modifying your nutrients and your pH adjustment accordingly. So. Neat little tool, again, got that science kit kind of reagent thing, takes you back to school. Um, handy tool and uh, one that's, I think, got a lot of value bringing over to the hydroponic and plant growing world from their um, traditional line, it's the HI-775. All right. Just wait.